Hitler's death since 1945 has been a concern not only for historians and scholars, but also for ordinary citizens. Every year there are new documentary evidence showing that the Fuhrer did not commit suicide in Berlin. In this issue, the essential results of our investigation concerning the death of the leader of Nazi Germany. that tell us the official story. In January 1945, the Führer left his headquarters in Bavarian Alps and arrived in Berlin. Allied air raids forced him to put his headquarters in a special prepared bunker under the ground. In the spring of 1945, Soviet troops advanced from the east and pushed the Wehrmacht to Berlin. Landed in France and Italy, the Anglo-American troops attacked from the west and south. It was already obvious that Germany lost the war. The last time Hitler left the bunker in March and visited the Reich Chancellery. One of the air raids caused the fuel above, after which he did not dare to leave the shelter. April 29, before his death, Hitler decided to marry. He married Eva Brown, who for certain previous years had been his mistress. After the holidays, the Fuhrer retired to dictate a personal and political will. The Fuhrer wrote in his personal testament that the duties did not allow him to start a family. But now his wife is ready to share his fate – suicide. Personal property Hitler bequeathed his party and in the event of its collapse to the state. The Rochus Nisch, the telephone operator and the adjutant of Adolf Hitler. I had he told his aides, you must burn my body, so that it does not fall into the hands of the Russian or Americans. He didn't want to be hanged like Mussolini. He was very afraid of that. He could have gone to Argentina or Japan. The planes were ready, but he didn't escape. I saw his adjutants enter the room, wrap the body in a grey blanket and carry it away. Before taking the poison that the Fuhrer has tested it on his dog Cabalondi, the dog died a few minutes after taking the capsule with poison. Around half past 3 pm, Hitler and Eva Brown, saying goodbye to all, retired to their private rooms. Soon there was a shot. The man found that the Fuhrer has shot himself, and his wife had taken an ampoule of poison. The bodies were taken out into the yard, doused with gasoline, and set on fire. One of the soldiers guarding the bunker could not identify Hitler's burned body in half and how. By the end of the day, the bodies of the spouses were wrapped in a trap placed in one of the craters from the shelling of Soviet artillery and buried. Konstantin Bogomazov, a veteran intelligence smash. They pulled him, or raised the boss of them, wrapped in a blanket and threw into the funnel. Right there, next to the bunker, the funnel was like this, dust with gasoline and lit. Later Soviet experts conducted a study of the place where the German Führer was buried. The parietal part of the skull was found, containing a bullet hole and fragments of jaws. Having studied them, they managed to identify the remains and prove that it was Hitler who was buried in this place. Sergei Mironenko, director of the State Archive of Russia. Since the face were burned, it was necessary to bring in some other things to the identification. We found the dentist's office Blaschke, where there were radiographs of Hitler's jaw. Nurse Kete Heisinger, who was in our captivity, was asked to write what the dentist did to Hitler, what teeth were sealed and what denture were installed. After that, they compared it with what they found and made sure that it is really Adolf Hitler and Eva Brown. Now fragments of the Führer's jaws are stored in the archive of the Federal Security Service of Russia and fragments of skull in the State Archive of Russian Federation. Soon after the Führer's suicide, the Berlin garnison capitulated. A week later, this way followed by the surrender of Germany. The victory was followed by the trials of the surviving member of the NSDAP, who continued to serve the Hitler's cause until May 1945.
Abel Besti, historian and researcher of Hitler life, also of the book Hitler in Argentina. All that was in the bunker in April 1945, it was a theater, a performance with Hitler's doubles, made in order to confuse everyone. Presumably, Adolf Hitler died in 1961 to 1964 from a stroke. There is no single document confirming that his body was destroyed. On the contrary, there is evidence that he was burnt hair and he had children. And now let's digress from the official history and try to consider the above based on the recently declassified data of the state archives of the United States and Russia. First, there was no witnesses who saw Hitler drink poison and shoot himself in the head. Studying archival documents striking the fact that in the testimony of witnesses to the death of Hitler there are many contradictions. First it says he was poisoned. Then no, he shot himself in the temple. After, sorry, first poisoned himself and then shot himself. Potassium cyanide causes instant death and convulsions. How then did the man pull the trigger of the gun? For example, SS officer Heinz Linge claims that Hitler shot himself in the left temple and demolished half of school. And another SS Otto Hinsche, who carried the body of the Fuhrer, shows Adolf hit the right temple, but the face is not injured. Kempka generally claimed that the Fuhrer shot himself in the mouth. But the most interesting doctor of the Soviet military medicine, Colonel Schwarkovsky, who participated in the autopsies of the bodies, indicated that the bodies there were no bullet wounds, only the remains of ampoules of cyanide in his mouth. Secondly, after the tests, the blood found on the school and the blood on the coach of the rage office, where Hitler allegedly shot himself, did not match. Thirdly, with the regard to the examination of the remains of Hitler and Ivo Brown, it turned out that it was carried out very sloppy. The main proof of the authenticity of the chart, remains of the Fuhrer and his wife were Dentia and feelings. According to the Americans, in the oral cavity of the remains of Ivo Brown, NKVD specialists were invested gold bridges made to her order. But as it turned out, they were not used by Eva in life. The same manipulation was done with the skull of Hitler. The fakes were made by schemes of the personal dentist of Fuhrer Blaschkes and dental technician Echtmann. Both were captured by Agent Smersh and wrote under the dictation explanatory, recognizing the authenticity of their creations. It's no wonder that during the bubble of such witnesses, Stalin did not believe in the death of Hitler. If only Stalin. On June 9, 1945, at a press conference of foreign journalists, Marshal Georgi Zhukov said that the Fuhrer and Ivo Brown had secretly flown to Hamburg by plane, from where they sailed on a submarine. Even the German court official declared Hitler dead only in 1956 and Dio Brown in 1957. Falsely, in 1970, by order of the chairman of the KGB Yuri Andropov, a secret operation was carried out to destroy the remains of Hitler. The Soviet secret service were hiding the evidence? The science of the time, with the help of genetic analysis, could already give an accurate answer who remains. In the night from 4 to 5 April 1917, a task force of KGB uncovered burial on Klausenstrasse. Early in the morning of April 5, the remains of the bodies were taken to the training fields of the Supper and Tank Regiment of the GSVG, where they were crushed and burned. The ashes of Hitler and the people who did with him were scattered in the wind near of the tributaries of the Elb. All inconsistence, forgery and covering up traces are explained quite simply. The Fuhrer escaped at the end of World War II. No matter how loud it sounded, he was helped by special services of the Allies at the anti-Hitler coalition. But how did Hitler manage to leave the occupied Berlin? According to British historians Gerard Williams and Simon Dunstan, a system of secret tunnels was found under the city, which was also connected to the bunker. 
Because of this, her hitter and Eva Brown easily went unnoticed and their place in the bunker took the doubles. This fact indirectly confirms the opening of the film crew of the program Hunt for Hitler, channel the History Channel, which managed to find the remains of the tunnel system with the help of echolocation devices. In 2006, the Argentine documentary writer Abel Basti, who for many years studied the history of the Nazi flight to South America, published a book, Hitler in Argentina, which contains previously classified evidence from FBI archives. According to this data, on April 30, at 16 hours 30 minutes, that is an hour after the alleged suicide, Hitler was seen next to his personal plane, Ju-52. At night during the last week of April, the air transport of the Führer's agents landed on Unter den Linden Avenue, where the street lighting uh, poles remained. With the support of jet fighters Mi-262, the plane of the Führer managed to break through the fire of Soviet anti-aircraft guns and leave Berlin. On the same day, he arrived in the Danish city of Tonda. From there, as a Luftwaffe base in the suburbs of Lübeck Travemunde. Then the boat Ju-52 took the couple to the Spanish city of Reus, located south of Barcelona. The dictator of Spanish, General Franco, gave the Führer a plane with the insignia of his country. It took Hitler to the Canary Island, and the next day he, Ivo Braun, Müller and Bormann climbed aboard the submarine. The fate of Hitler is not so clear. There are many theories as to where the submarine carrying the Nazi leader might have gone, but two of them deserve special attention as a result of our investigation. According to the first, in the late 40s, Joseph Stalin was presented with the data of American intelligence that Adolf Hitler is alive and hiding in New Schwabe, a secret Nazi base in Antarctica, in the land of Queen Maud. Soviet and Western intelligence completely missed the creation of this base, which consisted of two settlements in Antarctica. According to the German scientific theory held by Nazi leadership, the earth inside is hollow. It is in the area of Antarctica where entrance to a huge underground cavity with warm air. It was here in 1940, on the personal instruction of Hitler began the construction of two underground bases on the land of Queen Maud. Despite the fact that the Americans knew about the existence of a Nazi refuge in Antarctica, at first it was decided not to touch them, but then for fear that the higher technology known to them will be able to spread from Schwabia and fall into the hands of a rearranged neo-Nazis, the secret refuge of the Führer was decided to destroy. In January 1947, a squadron of US Navy ships under the command of Rear Admiral Byrd went to the area of Antarctica. Of the coast covered with the eternal ice, sea and air battle took place. Losses were on both sides. The American fleet was repulsed and Schwabe resisted. The punitive expedition the Americans were sent twice, the latest in 1949. Only the threat of German Nazis on the radio in the open air to use nuclear weapons during the second operation forced the Americans to retreat. The war in Antarctica was strictly classified. Information about it is known to the world. For more information about the meeting of the Armada of Admiral Beard with the Nazi forces of New Schwabia and other mysteries of Antarctica, you can see the video on our channel titled The Secrets Hidden in Antarctica and Arctic, a link to which will be below in the description. The existence of Hitler's last refuge in Antarctic became a state secret of the USA and the USSR, which suited the great powers. And impulsive nuclear weapons created in New Schwabia, until recently allowed the Nazis to deter any aggressor. In addition, German scientists at the end of the war developed combat lasers and flying saucers, devices that use other physical principles to move in space. According to one information, Adolf Hitler died in the base in Antarctica in 1971. According to other sources, he survived until 1982. Hitler once made a trip to the big land in the town of Heliopolis on the outskirts of Cairo, which is located on the island of Zamalek. In 1953, he had a meeting with Martin Bormann and his personal pilot Hans Bauer, who was released from the Soviet prison for this purpose. 
According to the second theory, in the late summer of 1945, Hitler and his entourage on the submarine reached the coast of Argentina, which authorities have long sympathized with Nazis. The version of Hitler's life after the end of World War II is based on the testimony of Luftwaffe pilot Peter Baumgart, a Japanese high-ranking diplomat who served in Berlin, doctors, cooks and bodyguards who worked for the Fuhrer and then moved to Argentina. The plan of flight of Europe in 1943 was prepared by the head of Nazi party and the closest ally of Hitler, Martin Bormann. It was even proposed to create a fourth Reich in South America, which would become the successor of Nazi Germany. In Argentina, on the nominees was made out bank deposits created a small company purchased the farm. The emissaries of the Nazis lived in hotels, transit points for their leaders. In parallel, there were secret negotiations with allies. In exchange for the gold and technology of the Third Reich, they allegedly agreed to leave Hitler and his henchmen alone. Argentine journalist and writer Abel Basti claims that in the area where Hitler went, a shore at the depth of 30 meters under a layer of sand and silt found three submarines, which is not a word in archival documents of Argentine military. The Führer and his girlfriend took refuge in the town of Mar del Plata. They had long lived in a hotel owned by the Eichhorns. Repeatedly they were in luxury villa of a businessman Jorge Antonio, friend of President Perón, and visited the mountain resort of Bariloche, where he settled personal pilot of the Führer, Hans Ulrich Rudel. SS Hauptsturmführer Erich Pripke and the Dr. Bigot from Auschwitz, Josef Mengele. Jose Sebastiano Quija, a resident of Argentina. I walked at Lumber Mill, once saw a newspaper with a photo of Hitler. They were looking for him dead or alive. A few days later we saw the trees and lord the finished locks to Villa in Alco. We were approached by a woman and man. I froze. I knew it was the man I saw in the newspaper, Hitler. Lumberjack Jose Kiha met Hitler twice. According to his description, the Führer looked tired, walked with a cane, limping and always at the meeting, greeted. In 1953 Eva Brown parted with Hitler and moved to the city of Neuquin in the rest of the country. After a military coup in Argentina in 1955, when President Juan Perón was disposed, Martin Bormann transported the Führer to the small La Clara estate in a remote corner of Patagonia. Hitler survived Stalin a little more than nine years and died in a quiet and carefree old age. So ended another alternative history, ten new Führer in Argentina. At the end of his life, Hitler suffered from senile dementia. Also, he still believed in the victory of Nazis. He and Brown had two daughters. One of them was born in late 1941. Children initially lived together with father, and when Brown has left Hitler, left with mother. After her death, they left Neuquin, but remained in South America. In 1985, a 30-year-old undocumented woman named the daughter of Hitler and Eva Brown came to the office of Dr. Alicia Oliveira, UN Human Rights Representative in Argentina. She showed her photos with her parents and asked them to help her leave. However, the following is interesting. At the exit of the building, the applicant was immediately arrested by the police. With the usual crazy, which is really a lot, these things do not happen. In the archives of the security services there was only a picture of the scene of the arrest. This woman really looks like Eva Brown, like two drops of water. In 1998, Jogan Mahler, a former SS officer and MPO of underground SS organization Odessa, said that the personnel who calls herself Hitler daughter was allegedly transferred to a German colony in South Africa, where her traces were lost. According to many independent researchers, including Basti Williams and Dunstan, Western powers knew about the flight of Hitler. The flight of Hitler and tens of thousands of Nazis, the result of collusion between Berlin, Washington and London.
Instead, the Alice received latest technology of the third rage. Rocket and space research jet fighters nuclear project thousands of unique specialists like the rocketer Werner von Braun. They also got the gold reserve for Hitler Germany, equivalent to the more than 100 billion dollars. To date, the totality of the classified data does not make it possible to exclude the fact of Hitler's flight from Berlin. Indeed, there are documents confirming the destruction of Hitler's corpse. And there is no doubt about the authenticity of these documents. However, the same indisputable data about whose it was the remains in fact does not exist. The only way to know truth is to compare the DNA of Hitler and his sister Paula died in 1960 and buried in the cemetery of Bergfriedhof. And permission for such an examination was once granted to a group of scientists from the University of Connecticut. The conclusion of the researchers were disappointing for supporters of the official version of the death of the Fuhrer. In the September 2009, based on the results of the DNA analysis, experts said that the fragments of Hitler's school, in fact, belonged to a woman under the age of 40 years. Representatives of the Russian Federal Security Service immediately refuted this statement. To this day, all subsequent attempts by other world experts in the field of genetics to gain access to the remain of Hitler stored in Russia remain fruitless. The next page in this complicated story was opened by the Americans. On April 23, 2019, on the eve of the 74th anniversary of Hitler's death, the FBI declassified documents about Adolf Hitler's escape to Argentina in 1945. According to published materials located more than 700 pages, one of the FBI agents said that the head of the Third Rage on the submarine reached South America and six senior Argentine officials gave him asylum ranch in the southern part of the Ants. It's noted that the information reached the FBI director Edgar Hoover, but the Bureau considered them incomplete and decided that to continue the search for Hitler on the basis of this information is impossible. The first report is dated September 21, 1945. That's it was made after the official date of Hitler's death. And now the sensational information concerning Hitler's remains. Carefully studying the data, its judicial medical research, presumably the corpse of Hitler, produced by the Commission of Doctor on 8 May 1945 in Berlin, sharply striking the negligence. There is almost no description of the bones of the school. Only two sentences are devoted to this issue. The school cover is partially absent. Parts of the occipital bone, the left temporal bone, the lower parts of the zygomatic and nasal bones, as well as the upper and lower jaw are preserved. There are multiple small cracks in the nasal bones and bones of the upper jaw. The reason and character of the described damage aren't specified. Not only that, there are not a word in prison. On the contrary, the state of the teeth is given too much attention. The description takes up most of the act. It's a very strange fact, isn't it? The condition of vessels is not described. Internal organs have not been ceased to conduct forensic chemical research on the presence of cyanide compounds in them. Nevertheless, the cause of death is very clear. The death of an unknown man was caused by cyanide poisoning. And this conclusion was made only on the basis of the detection of fragments of the ampoule in the oral cavity. And the most important fact that indicated that the studied corpse did not belong to Hitler, the absence of the left testicle. He was not found in the scrotum, nor in the course of the seminal canal in the inguinal canal, nor in the pelvis. Indeed, even during the life of Hitler and until recently, the people believed that the Nazi dictator lost his left testicle as a result of injury to the groin area on the fields of the First World War. However, the data surfaced in December 2015 suggests the opposite. Peter Fleischmann, a German professor of history at the University of the Erlangen Nuremberg, came into the hands of a rather interesting document, the result of a complete medical examination of Hitler, conducted by Dr. Joseph Steiner Breen in the prison of Landsberg, where the future dictator was after the failed Munich Bia Putsch in 1923. 
According to the document, Hitler was completely healthy, except for a single disease with the right-sided cryptorchidism. Cryptorchidism is congenital disease that is characterized by non-descent of the testicle into the scrotum. Not that right-sided cryptorchidism. Hitler really had no testicle, but not left and right. It just did not come down from the abdomen, which is quite common in premature boys. But this does not mean that it was not at all. Also, the autopsy data tell us otherwise. The logical conclusion is that either the corpse investigated in May 1945 did not belong to Hitler, or the forensic data were fabricated based on public available and, as it turned out, not accurate information about his state of health. After 74 years, after the official death of the German dictator, the main question is still acute. What documents relating to this event are still classified as secret on the shelves on the archives of the World Intelligence Services?